Salesforce just released Agent Force, and I'm about to reveal how it works and what it actually does. And how is Agent Force different from the recently released Einstein Agent by Salesforce? First, you have to understand the main differences between Agent Force and Einstein. Einstein is a smart chatbot. Regular chatbots have some information about your company and use it to answer questions. Simple as that. Einstein is smarter. Rather than just storing information about your company, it learns about it, meaning it can use your data and classify new data, predict something with the current data it has, and also generate answers based on the data and the context in the chat, all while it stays between the guidelines you set, and I'll talk about them in a bit. And the difference between Einstein and Agent Force is that Einstein is an agent, a bot, whereas Agent Force is a platform to build those agents on. Now don't run away, I know you got the answer you wanted, but let me explain because this is a little bit different than usual agents. AI agents. These AI agents you build with Agent Force are built on top of the same structure that Einstein works on, together with some other features I'll share in a bit, meaning that these agents can classify, predict, and generate data, all of that combined with workflows and guidelines. I know there's a lot to chew on, so let me give you an example. Let's say you want to build a chatbot that answers questions about your orders and their status, as well as books meetings. You start by creating an agent by simply telling what you want your agent to do in natural language. You then assign this agent a workflow that you have in Salesforce so it could check orders, retrieve information, check for open slots in your calendar, share free slots with your customer, and book in your customers. Lastly, you add guardrails to keep the chatbot from drifting away in conversations and refusing to share any private information or anything that's inappropriate. Again, this isn't a simple chatbot. Your customers won't be able to come in, say, ignore all previous instructions trying to jailbreak the bot. That won't happen because it has guardrails set up and it knows its boundaries. Still confusing? Okay, another example. You can create an agent that interacts with inbound leads based on certain criteria. For example, if the lead's budget is less than 1000 USD, you can assign an agent to talk to them, handle objections, and book them while you spend time talking to more valuable leads. The agent will personalize everything based on your lead's data that you have in the CRM. It will answer any questions based on the information you fed to it, like FAQs, answers, and such, and all of this across any platform and in any language. Not enough? Another example. You want a sales coach? Provide the agent information about your product, company, and brand's voice, and it will act like a customer asking you questions and replicating a real sales call so you could learn. Basically, role-playing with an agent and then getting feedback. The agent can even join your real sales calls, give you tips on negotiating, and after the call, it will summarize everything and give you feedback. Basically, Agent Force isn't just a chatbot. It's literally an agent that's easy to set up and deploy in minutes, carrying all the information about your business, product, and even leads, and can be trained for any task based on the workflows you provide, all while staying between your set guardrails, but still being able to reason, take in context, and generate replies itself. It might sound complicated, so if Agent Force isn't your cup of tea, there are a lot more agents to choose from, for example, agents that are focusing on replacing human SDRs. To see a comparison between the top 3 AI SDRs, just check out this video.